So in this position, the question is why does A better, B winning, or C equal? And what is white's best move? Instinctively, I want to say that white is better. I really like this strong pawn on d5. Um, his pieces, such as his queen, rook, and knight, look active, and it seems like there should be some sort of combinative solution here. Um, on the other hand, black sort of has latent pressure on d5 with the rook and the knight, um, so maybe if white's rook needs to give ground, there might be a problem and the d5 pawn might go, although the bishop kind of helps add some support to that, so that's maybe not so clear. And also, this pawn on g4 is loose, which would Black would obviously like to take that pawn, and if he just takes it for nothing, that would seem to be pretty good. So, that said, let's start thinking about specific moves for white here. Um, well, I'm immediately noticing one idea. I'm noticing this idea here of knight takes f6, which looks bad because we're hanging on d6. But, um, if black takes with the rook, rook takes d6, then we can play queen takes d6, and after queen takes d6, then our knight on f6 can give a royal fork with knight f8 check, or knight e8 check, and black has choices. I'm going to clear the board real quick. Um, he could move the king to f8, for instance, attacking the knight, and then the knight could take the queen after that royal fork on d6, and it looks like we've won a pawn, but immediately black can take here, bishop takes g4, but then we have rook takes e5 at the end of all of that. So that looks to me like it's a clean pawn for white, and I would think that white would have good winning chances because the clean pawn is this d pawn. So it's passed, it's well defended by the bishop, and it's fairly far up the board. Also, the rook, knight, and bishop all have good scope, so I would think that that's probably winning for white. It looks pretty good in any event. So let's take a moment real quick and see if I'm missing something in this line. Maybe there's a better resource for black. And if not, then let's see if white maybe has something more convincing. If not, I would say that this is pretty good and white is at least close to winning. So we have knight take f6 here. So the first thought is that black doesn't have to take on d6. If he doesn't take, then what would he do? Well, there would at least be the option here of bishop takes g4, and the knight seems to defend g4, but if the knight moves away, we no longer have our fork, so it's not really defending g4 after all. So maybe that seems like a problem. So we have knight takes f6, and then after bishop takes g4, we haven't really won a pawn because we can't play knight takes g4. Uh, but then this is not a problem because after knight takes f6, silly me, um, bishop takes g4, we just throw in the move rook take d6, and then we can take back on g4. So that's not a problem at all. So knight take f6, not bishop takes g4. Um, I don't see any any particularly strong moves with the knight, the rook, the queen. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't see an improvement here. After knight take f6, it looks to me like, well, black doesn't have to take on d6, but if he doesn't, I think white's position is very good. He's just grabbed a very clean pawn, and he's got ideas like rook takes uh, e5 as well, and then he's got all his other advantages that were already in play. So this looks pretty good to me. So we have here knight take f6, and then we have the move rook takes d6, 
and then queen takes d6 we're going to have to capture back queen takes d6 and then we have 98 check and then the king moves I don't see a better move well maybe um, maybe we go king f7 so that after knight takes d6 we could go king f6 but this would still be very very good for white I think um, the king f6 would defend the pawn on e5 but white has some nice ideas here I think um, this looks very good for white to me and we're still just a clean pawn up I mean even just h3 looks like a very clean pawn so that doesn't look like a big improvement I'm not seeing a big improvement to me knight take f6 looks like white has at least very good winning chances um, winning to much better after knight take f6 so the only other question I would ask then is maybe does white have a better move um, on this first move so let's take a moment and consider that before resolving ourselves to play knight take f6 which would require work to win and so we have this lineup of the queen to this knight on e7 and that looks tempting to me like I want to move the rook somewhere and unload with the queen on e7 and it doesn't really seem to quite come together although I should point out that if I move the rook also there's just this simple idea of pawn d5 too which looks uh, pawn d6 forking things that looks pretty good but there's just not a stupendous square to move the rook to I don't think so if I play rook take f6 which seems very natural then I think knight takes d5 is a bit annoying and the knight comes out to a central square maybe black plays knight to f4 in a moment um, his queen and rook have these beautiful lines unless there's an immediate tactical win I don't think that should be desirable and I don't see anything immediate in tactical so I'm not convinced by rook take f6 um, and there's not another sound square to move the rook to here but uh, maybe we can think about just playing rook takes d8 queen takes d8 and then we have pawn to d6 and that might be strong the knight's gonna have to move a couple of squares I'm kind of inclined to think that the knight won't, might want to go to d5 and then on to f4 although there's the queen coming to so um, so rook takes queen takes pawn forward and the knight has to move and it looks like the knight can just go to d5 tax the queen, the queen moves, I mean the queen has some reasonable squares to go to like c4 for instance but it doesn't look like it has a winning square to go to and then the knight comes to f4 which seems like a great outpost and I don't know it looks good for white maybe maybe there's a way that it's just winning but I don't see it so I would be I wouldn't really resolve myself to rook takes queen takes instead of knight take f6 knight take f6 looks the more convincing move to me at the moment so I'm still buying into knight take f6 uh, any other moves that really should be considered here um, I don't see another move um, yeah I don't see a see a bigger opportunity here all right, so I'm saying that the answer is that white is probably winning and is at least much better and that the move is knight take f6. So that's the best thing I can see here and then it's based on this royal fork here and white would grab at least a pawn and have a very, very strong position otherwise. So that's what I'm going with here. So the solution here that we saw is actually entirely correct. Uh, knight take f6 is the right move and the main point is simply the fork 
Um, the authors point out that this is actually a relatively easy problem, and I actually overthought it quite a bit, uh, trying to see if there was some sort of stinger in the tail or something that Black had, or maybe if there was a better move for White in this case. If this was Tactic Trainer, I probably would have uh, just put in Knight Take F6 right away, but this book has often a lot of second and third move tricks here, but here Knight Take F6 is just finishing.